Hi, we're here with today with architect Thomas Pfeiffer. Pfeiffer is a founding principal of the New York-based firm Thomas Pfeiffer and Partners. So the first question I'm going to ask you today is your recent design for the Clemson University College of Architecture created a space for multiple programs within the university. What was the intent behind this? I'm sorry, there was just a horn honking here in New York. Can you just the last part of that question? Yes. So what was the intent behind designing um, the College of Architecture with multiple programs using the space? You know, what, what we wanted to do was to try to take all of the disciplines and put them together. When we started the project, there was only architecture in the building. We wanted not only to combine the different disciplines, but between landscape architecture, construction technology, art, structural design, there were a lot of different disciplines that we added to the building to make it a multidisciplinary building so that people learn how to work together, how to, how to make things together. Secondly, the, the School of Architecture is a place that where the professors are separated, their offices are completely separated from the students. The seminar rooms are often in other building. Um, the labs are separated. What we wanted to do was make the professors, their offices, the seminar rooms, the places where people do 3D printing, all of that, to make that a part of one experience in the building. So we combine the studio spaces with offices, with seminar rooms, so that it is one building there and can work in a collaborative way. And so you get studio spaces with offices overlooking them. You get seminar rooms that can be entered directly off of the um, uh, studio spaces. You get the outdoor spaces where people build things directly off of the studios. It is a working building. It is a building for work and collaboration. As I explored some of your other projects, it seems that this idea of collaboration is very big in a lot of your design focus. Is this something that you try to do within your firm as well, incorporate a sense of collaboration and interdisciplinary work? We actually work around one big dining table. It's a very long table and everybody works around that. We bring engineers in, we, we start projects with, with you know, kind of collaborative spirit and um, everyone really works together, but you've got to set it up. We don't have any private offices here. We don't have any places where people uh, can go behind a door. It's all one big space. And I think that's important uh, to get to get that sense of people just simply working together. That's great. Um, so you have vast project experience in the realm of education and as well you've been quite involved in educating future architects at various programs throughout the country. There's been a, quite a lot of conversation lately about the future of architectural education. Do you believe that some elements of architectural education need to evolve? And are, or do you feel that we're teaching our students the correct things? That's a good question. Um, I think it depends on the place. I think the thing that I've found to be most successful are, are the institutions that send their students out to work in offices as part of the curriculum, not a summer job like we all, like I used to have, but to, but to find a way within the curriculum for a semester, for a year, for those students to go off and as part of the part of their educational process to work in an office. I think that 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 becomes a, an extremely important experience that that should be a part of the curriculum in every university, I think. I agree. It, in your conference bio, you mentioned simplicity leads to economy, efficiency, and improved performance. We live in a complex world with complex te technology, complex social constructs, and complex ideals. Do you have any rules or advice for keeping design solutions simple in such a complex world? 
I think it starts with working together in the beginning. I think before you lay pencil to paper, it's important to understand the structural const constraints, the mechanical constraints, the the site construct. All of these things go into making a building. The architect is just one one member of the design team. Everyone needs to come together to make an integrated building. There are enormous economies um, to to people kind of working together to make something rather than the architect making something and tossing a sketch over his shoulder and expecting the beams and the ducts to get crammed into the building after the fact. It needs to become one building where the systems are a part of the planning of the building as a strategy. Do you have a favorite project that you've worked on? I'm sure you get asked this a lot, but is there one that sticks out in your mind? Always the favorite project are the ones you're working on right now. <laughs> of course. There's, there's something wonderfully spirited about, about beginning something, about starting something. There's an enormous amount of enthusiasm and optimism about beginning something new with people that you're just beginning to understand. And there's a, there's a wonderful curiosity there about, about how they want this building, what they want the atmosphere of this building to, to be, what, what kind of optimistic principles they want to engage in the work. So I, I think it's the projects that we're working on right now that, the, that are the most kind of wonderful and the most spirited and the most optimistic in the office. Great. And one last question for you. So uh, I graduated recently and as someone speaking who is in the early stages of their career, what advice would you have for someone who is just starting out? I think to kind of, um, I think to set high standards, I think to follow, um, you know, you should go and work for a place, one should go work for a place that you really feel A connective spirit with and you should wait as long as possible as long as economically possible to find that place I think um, this country now from New York to California to Florida to Washington there are some extraordinary practices that exist across America and I think to be able to do research to be able to understand what the sensibilities are for, for the firms that you like to apply to. And, and I think if you find that place that you find a connection with, I think they will find a connection with you too. That there's a sense of connection there that is deep. And if you feel a sincerity there, I think that, that you should really wait until you feel that, that sense of connection. Because the early years are important years, um, not just in order to understand how to draw a wall section or to make a detail or, or to work on a model, but, but they're learning years. And you not only learn kind of technical things, but you learn culture. You learn how people work together and you learn a particular spirit there. And I think that, um, that first job is an important job, and it's, it's important to find an enthusiastic match Thank um, you. to what you believe. Of course. Well, we're look, looking forward to having you at the conference in just a few weeks, and um, we will see you there. Thank you so much for your time today. I am looking really forward to coming out to Colorado in October. Yes. Should be really beautiful. It will be. <laughs> we can promise you that. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you.